Hi, um, I'm James from London, England, and I'm a student. Student of what? History. American history. American? Yes. And why did you pick American history? Um, well, I was really into history at school in England, and, uh, but I didn't like the areas of history it covered when I went on to degree level. So as I was interested in America anyway, I decided to do a degree on straight American history, so an area that's always interested me. So, so what is it that gets you interested in America? Um, just uh, certain periods of time, uh, like the 20s, um, the Depression, when, and the war as well. I've always been interested in that, so I saw it as a chance to pursue my interest in that area. So. Did your parents have you interested in that at all? Or no, no, it's just simply something that's come out of my own imagination. So. And so what brought you to Texas? Um, I've been out here on school, at school for a year, and now I'm just traveling around the country. So uh, Dallas was a place that I could come and see all the JFK historical sites and museum and stuff. So I could actually see the grassy knoll. So that was it for me here. Something you've been waiting to see? Yes, it is, yes. Since when? Since um, since I started my course, really, uh, three years ago. So. And what do you think now that you saw it? Um, it's it's kind of surreal actually seeing it in person, and seeing what happened, and going up to the sixth floor, and it's it's kind of you know actually seeing it in person is a whole different from seeing it on on documentaries or videos or something like that. So it's really really quite amazing just to see it. So. Just different in the way it makes you feel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I believe there's a conspiracy of sorts about that. Um, as with a lot of people, I'm not quite sure um, who, you, I, it will never be proved, I don't think, who the actual conspirators were. Um, I definitely believe Oswald didn't um, fire the bullet that killed Kennedy. I believe he fired a bullet, but I don't believe that that was the shot that killed him. So. Where do you think the kill shot came from? The grass, you know. And what convinces you of that? Um, just, um, well, I've seen the film JFK as well, so that's probably influenced me a lot. And um, where it put about the, the triangle of fire, um, I believe it. And the evidence there presented about the magic bullet and how it went through like, the back and all these right angles. And so I don't believe, and especially the fact that. To, with his old rifle to fire three shots in that amount of time and to get that accuracy, I just don't believe it's possible. So that's where, we, that's where the influence comes from, I suppose. Do you have experience firing weapons? Sorry? Do you have experience firing weapons? Um, the last, well, yes, I went, <laughs> sounds really bizarre, I went to my next door neighbour at college's house in Pennsylvania uh, last Christmas and uh, he lives in the woods and he had guns, so I was, uh, he let me fire some, so I fired a, a shotgun so, and a, a pistol. So, so that, is, that probably as well, probably, you know, to fire shots that accurate. I know how difficult it is. I know, he's a, I know Oswald was an ex-Marine, but even then, like, when they brought in the top military marksmen, and they couldn't do it, so I don't see how Oswald could have got it. What, um, what did you feel about the museum? The museum itself? Yeah. I thought it was very good. Um, it didn't try, it was good at just presenting the facts as well. It didn't try and sway one opinion or another. Um, I noticed it didn't really cover the JFK, the Oliver Stone film and his theory. It didn't really cover that a lot, which I was sort of surprised at. I, I thought it might have concentrated on one theory and then tried, to, it didn't try to bias people, I don't think. Um, and I was, it was also a very, tried to glorify Kennedy a lot in there, it was very, you know, it was concentrated a lot on that rather than conspiracy theories or so. I thought it was very good though. And uh, have you looked at other things on the conspiracy books or movies? Or? Um, I was going to do my dissertation on it last year, but I did, um, in the end I chose not to, so I did some preliminary work, but then I, I, I chose to do something else. So. I've read a bit on it, but not extensively.
And what made you decide not to go with that? Um, well, um, I, I really wanted to do something on my favourite president and the Depression, so I did it on Franklin Roosevelt, so I chose that over Kennedy. So. And plus about 100 other people in my course were doing JFK, so I thought it would be different. So. Is he, I mean, the most popular, or is he...? The, um, it's certainly, because in, in the second year, when we covered, we certainly, we did like the last, uh, from the 19, 1900s to the 20th century, we did a course concentrated on that. And as soon as the lectures turned around to the 1960s in JFK, you saw a lot of people who'd been just sitting there for, you know, just twiddling their thumbs in the other lectures, like quite bored, and they all, all suddenly perked up. So it was quite an a big area of interest. So Why do you think Kennedy so grabs people like that? Just, I think a lot of it's to, you know, the, the, the myth and the legend of it, you know, they're sort of grown into that sort of thing. You know, like everyone, if you're doing American history, one of the first things you know, especially as, as it's been so recent, as well. I mean, 60s is a long time ago, but it's still quite recent in people's memories, so I think that has a lot to do with it. And uh, did you say what your uh, personal theories are? Um, I believe it was um, the fiasco in the Bay of Pigs had something to do with it, and uh, the, um, the CIA had, when when Kennedy didn't send the, uh, the plane, the F air support in um, and it all, as with the f I know the film suggested strongly suggested that Kennedy wasn't going to go into Vietnam and so um, like all the um, the businesses like the manufacturers for the war that you know that would would get a lot of reward from the war were dis you know knew that Kennedy wasn't pro-war so they needed I reckon there's a, a lot of a lot of factors you know Coming to coming together at the same time, and then that all contributed to it. So like the uh, the CIA guys and the anti-Cubanists, uh, and then the the business businessmen. So, but I don't, I don't believe that. I know the film as well said about um, Lyndon Johnson having like you know if you know you get rid of this guy, put me in, I'll give you your war. I don't I don't believe that too much. So. It, yeah, uh, that's what, that's that's the scope of the people I I think were involved. So, just my personal opinion whether that's true or not. Or not. Did you uh, go out there and look at the X in the road? I haven't actually. I've I've seen it from far. We're going down there next upon so on, on our next step of our little journey. So I haven't seen that yet. No. Any ideas on kind of X? What is it? The X on the? I don't quite know it. I mean. I don't know. I don't know. So. I mean, because some people think that the city did, and some, you know. Okay. I was just curious if you. Oh, I, 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 that's the first time I've heard about it, so. Did you uh, take a look at the sign up here, where it talks about Lee Harvey Oswald allegedly shooting the president? Yes. Did you notice how they, how people have underlined allegedly out there? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. That's, that goes to a lot of. That pretty much sums up, you know, a feeling of a lot of people that. He didn't actually you know, shoot the president, so. And uh, do you think people are always going to come here? Yes, I do. Um, not only for people curious to learn more about the shooting and that, but I think the, the sort of the, the cult of personality that JFK built up in his short space of time that he was in office, I think that's going to live on for a long time. I mean, you've got people who are there, you know, Around that time, it will come back, and and every every generation that's taught that's taught about Kennedy gets taught that. So I mean, that influence I, that has a lot of power over people, the influence, and so they'll want to come back and see it and see you know the sites. And so I reckon the museum will have a a long shelf life, so to speak. So you know, it will always get visitors. So um, can you just give me kind of your general impression of what uh, people? People your age that you know around you think of Americans or think of Texans? Americans and Texans. Um, Americans in general and then Texans. <laughs> um, well, certainly people I know, like, there's sort of, you get two schools of, like, you know, I, from my experience as well, Americans are, you know, very kind, you know, very nice people. But some, 
especially when Americans go abroad, um, the, the American tourists, people think they're loud and obnoxious, but and that's sort of, uh, there's a sort of arrogance there as well. That's like that's mainly from the tourists, American tourists abroad. But I say my personal impression is Americans have always, Americans have always been very friendly people. So and Texans. Um, uh, you can there's some you get the impression some of them like if you say Texas you know you say rednecks and then everyone's also the rednecks are the hicks and so that, there's that impression there but so far especially the women they're all hot so I don't have any problems with that so Texans are good in my book so and where else would you say you've gone on this trip um, we've been across pretty much across the states every pretty much every major city so far up to um, Texas. Where? St well, we started in Pennsylvania, and then we uh, first stop we had was Chicago, and then on to Detroit. Uh, hopped into Canada to see Niagara Falls, and then Seattle, Vancouver, and then all down the West Coast, every major city there. Um, then we went to Las Vegas. Flew from San Diego to Las Vegas, Las Vegas to uh, Salt Lake City, and Salt Lake City to where did we go? I think it was. Denver and then here. And so that's the best place you went. Um, I really like Seattle. I, really, I was really impressed with Seattle. But you, uh, Salt Lake City was very nice as well. Yeah, I had completely the wrong impression of Salt Lake City. So, oh, so. with all the Mormons. So I thought that everyone was going to be, you know, dressed out in funny outfits and you know, old-fashioned times. But no, that Salt Lake City is a really nice place. So. It, Disproved my theories. I was quite happily disproved on that occasion. So. Okay. Well, is there anything else you'd like to say? Nothing. No. Oh, that's it. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you.